Hi everyone, it's Tamsin from Fit College here. And just touching base on what we talked about before was pull-ups and how to achieve them. So we've touched upon grip strength. And what I want to share with you today is a tool that you can use to help improve your pull-ups or to be able to get one in the first place because we all know that's quite a challenge. So we're going to be working on movement patterning. The better you are at a movement, the easier it becomes. So practice makes perfect. But if we can't do one in the first place, if we're not able to do a pull-up, how do we get good at the movement? So I've got a bit of band work that I'd like to share with you. So choose a band that is easy. It makes the movement easy for you. And as the movement gets easier, make the band smaller so it takes less of your weight. So we'll go on over. I've um, hooked up this band here just to my pull-up bar. And I'm going to pull this down around my knee. If you're not as tall as I am, I think I'm quite fortunate here, get a box to stand on because it will just mean that you don't have to pull the band a whole way down. So we're going to pull and you're going to hook your knee into the loop. You're going to grab onto the bar, nice wide grip, and you're just going to let the band take your weight. All right, so pulling up to the top, down, pull up to the top. All right. So do as many of those as you can. The more you do, the better you're going to get at the movement and the easier your pull-ups are going to become. As you get better at your pull-ups, like I said, reduce your band size, make it harder for yourself. If you're not progressing, you can't get better. So stay tuned. Next week we're going to be talking about eccentric movements, so how to lower yourself down from a pull-up to improve your pull-up movement and strength. Stay tuned. We'll see you. Thank you.